Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of I'm Past Life Pro, and as promised, today I'm going to teach you how to slow down shadows in the SUSV 10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. And this video is more or less a part 2 of my last tutorial, which was learning how to slow down waving terrain, so if you haven't seen it already, then definitely do click the annotation on the screen. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. First things first, so that we can alter the shader, we're going to need the SUSE unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Alright, let's get to it. Double click the folder. Double click the shaders folder, and when you've reached all the files, I want you to search for shadow.vsh, which should be the last file. Using Notepad++, open it up. Now, a little heads up before we start changing things around. The method I'm about to teach you is by no means the same as the method of slowing down water or terrain. In the case of shadows, since there is no overarching animation speed value that I know of, we're going to be adjusting much more dedicated values, which you'll see right now. Scroll down until you find line 214. I'll let the video do the teaching for me in this case, but allow me to explain. The code on line 214 is what dictates this almost random windiness that you'll see the shadows react to. So that we can avoid this random jump in speed the wind creates, we're going to change 0.85 to 0.0, .0 which effectively disables the wind. As you can see in game, there is no longer any wind messing with the shadows. So now, let's slow down the speed. Locate lines 234 to 244. All these values here determine the outcome movement of the shadows themselves, so this is where we'll get to work. Change all the values to 0.0f. What this will effectively do is stabilize the shadow movements, and in a sense, slow everything down a lot. Want to see what it looks like? Take a look at the comparison. When you load up Minecraft and try the shader out, this is the speed of which your shadows will be running at, which for longer time-lapse shots, this method is an absolute lifesaver. If you have any questions or ideas for my next tutorial, feel free to tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll of course try to get back to you as soon as I can. If this slightly more complicated tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!